Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tom Sparkin. Welcome back to another video. Today we're narrowing in on DNS, which is the best encrypted DNS to use in 2023 to preserve your privacy. Now, whether you're a master when it comes to DNS or a complete noob, this guide is for both people. Specifically, let's talk about right away what a DNS is. Basically, the way I like to think of it for noobs is a set of numbers provided to you from your ISP. If you don't mess with your DNS on any of your devices or your router, you're pretty much using your ISP's DNS. They could see all the websites you are visiting, which is pretty uh, uh, violating, at least in terms of privacy. Now, there are ways to change your DNS and use what is called an encrypted DNS. Basically doing this is replacing those set of numbers with a specific set of numbers provided from a DNS service and this will give you an encrypted DNS so your ISP can't really see what you're doing and it provides you a good layer of privacy. Not only that, but some encrypted DNSs also provide other features like the ability to block specific ads and even make customized lists to block ad networks so it can be pretty useful. Now you might be wondering, well, what is the difference between a VPN and a DNS then? Because it sounds like they kind of do the same thing. Well, VPNs take it a step further. While they can also encrypt your DNS, they also change and anonymize your IP address. When you're just using an encrypted DNS, your IP address is the same, so websites and other services can generally see where you are, and a VPN will help obfuscate that and change your IP address. This means VPNs are very useful for bypassing geo restrictions and other things like that. Additionally, VPNs will also kind of encrypt all of your internet traffic, not just DNS queries. So that is very important. That said, VPNs can slow down your internet a little bit more than a DNS service. So that's something to think about. That said, DNSs, um, you know, ones that are very customizable do require you to pay for them as well. And VPNs kind of have a little bit more of uh, capability, I think, than DNS do. That said, they are both different technologies. So let's discuss which is the best one to use. And now when we're discussing that, we also need to discuss a use case. And I've done some research and kind of come up with the best use case, I think. Um, I think the best use case is using something called Quad9. Now, Quad9 is a uh, encrypted DNS service. Primarily what Quad9 does is it's known for preventing you from going to uh, dangerous websites that have malware, phishing, spyware, and botnets. Um, so it's very good for that. It's a nonprofit based in uh, Switzerland, which is nice and it's completely ran by donations. It's extremely privacy friendly. Um, so no data continue or IP address is ever logged in the Quad9 system. So it's really good for that. Now, what are we gonna use Quad9 for? Well, Quad9, I would suggest putting into your router, I think. So basically, I think you should put Quad9 into your router, um, depending on what, what kind of router you're using, what kind of software you're using for your router, you could kind of plug and play uh, the Quad9 um, into your router and you're pretty much going to do that just by copying uh, this little number here Basically, it's going to be very simple to what you would do on Windows You're going to copy the preferred DNS and then the alternate DNS and kind of plug and play if you're using an arrow router Which is popular. There's an easy way to do it And you pretty much just want to copy this set of numbers and it's kind of as easy as that The good thing is quad 9 has plenty of setup guides depending on which use case you want to do it for I specifically think you should put it at the router level. This comes with many benefits. Basically, if you want, you can use Quad9 and a combination of other tools, which is what I would recommend. So we also have things like NextDNS though. Now NextDNS is basically a customizable one, and this one is primarily going to be for the use case of ad blocking. If you really wanna block specific ad websites and stuff like that, Next DNS is a way to do it, but it is a paid service at least after 300,000 queries. But this is also another one you could kind of play around with. But specifically, what would be the master use case? Well, I think using Quad9 on your router level and then using a VPN on a case by case basis is I think the best way to do it. The reason is, is because some services like Next DNS can cause issues when trying to visit various websites and I've encountered that before and it can be annoying. That's why I prefer to use something like a VPN. I will put a VPN on my computer and then on my phone and specifically when I wanna block websites and stuff like that, I could turn the VPN on with a push of a button and turn it off with a push of a button as well. 
The good news is most of the good VPNs out there have an ad blocking setting uh, for the DNS. Now, I would recommend choosing S tier or A tier VPNs. Um, these will have pretty good DNS settings. With Torgor specifically, which is my daily driver, it has an ad blocking DNS, which works very well. That said, I did make a video on the channel about which VPNs have the best ad blocking DNS, and I tested them all in a cool video. Well, not all the VPNs, but some of the top rated ones. Uh, you could check out that video if you're specifically interested in using the combination of VPN plus Quad9, which I would recommend as an ideal solution. So I think that is pretty cool um, to check out that video if you're specifically thinking about doing that. Um, I specifically use TorGuard since it's a really good rated VPN. Um, whatever you choose, go to VPN tier list. This is the website you see right here. It's always updated. Not only that, I also have other products recommended in the privacy space, which I really do recommend you using. Um, as well as really good discount codes there. So check those out guys and check out the links for the VPNs. The numbers are the specific review. And if you click on the link, it will take you to that website and it'll help support the channel. Just know none of these are sponsored or anything like that. All right guys, so that's about it for this video. Just a quick rundown of what DNS is, um, what are some of the options and what is the ideal use case. So let me know down in the comments down below if you have any favorite DNS providers or uh, custom use case you have. And I'll see you again in the next video very soon.